Hey crafty friends, this is Nancy the Handy Scandy and welcome back for another crafty venture. Today we'll be making this card together and um, I'll tell you a little bit about that after I tell you what's going on here. So I have cut my card down and um, I've got everything down to size. I've used the Whimsy Stamps Slimline Postage Die and I've cut it out of Nina Classic Crest Solar White 110 pound cardstock and those little watermelons are from the not too shabby shop they're digital designs and while I ink blend on this panel I'll tell you about the challenge so again I'm on the not too shabby digital design team and um, we're mostly over on Instagram, but I decided I wanted to make a video for this today. So the challenge is to use three digital images and incorporate some type of embossing. So I decided I was going to go with these sweet little watermelon popsicles from Not Too Shabby Shop. If you, one, if you're not familiar with digital designs, digital images, digital stamps, whatever you might wanna call them, I encourage you check out the link below and just go over there and look at what Jamie has in the not too shabby shop they are sweet there's some fall winter spring summer um, coffee shop who doesn't like a coffee shop a little coffee bar there's a ice cream cart just go check them out let me encourage you to do that so back to the card with the ink blending I have used tailored expressions guava ink and mode lawn um, the stress oxide sorry and with the that little panel that I just adhered down to the card base I just trimmed that down to size so that it would match this die cut piece that again I use the whimsy postage stamp slimline die and I wanted them to match obviously I'm not making a shaker card this easily could have been a shaker card but I just wanted dimension gotta have my coffee <laughs> I wanted some dimension and some lift and layers so that that's why I chose to do that so here are the sweet sweet watermelon popsicles who's ever heard of a watermelon popsicle y'all let me know if you have <laughs> I don't know where Jamie got this idea but it's adorable and I've used these images for so many things this summer. Oh my goodness. So here what I'm doing is I've pulled out some different reds and pinks from my Arteza Everblend alcohol markers. And I just find ones that match that guava or at least coordinate really well with the guava. So I'm using a three color blend. And I color all four of these watermelons the same. So I'm not going to subject you <laughs> to all of that. But um, yeah. So I will try to remember if, if I can see on the screen, which I, I don't know why I even hold my markers up to the, to the camera like that, because I can never see what they are. <laughs> anyway, I know one is tomato red. I think the lighter one is, is fruit punch, something punch. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so bad about this. Anyway, if I can find the actual colors, I'll link them below. Otherwise, I'll just link the whole set. It's the 120 set. And I love these markers, y'all. I really do. But anyway, back to the card. <laughs> so for slimline cards, I'm sure we've talked before that there's no set size. There's no standard size. So you can make them whatever you want. And this die is, I can't remember, I think it's like 8 by 3 And so I just cut the whole card down to coordinate with that size. And... Um, I think it's adorable. This stamp is adorable. So there's the outside kind of postage stamp scallop and then there's that inside piece and then there's also a little frame that goes inside each oval and then there's the actual oval itself. So there's lots of layers to this one die and I love it. So I finished coloring up my little watermelon pieces and I mounted them on some of that fun foam that I got from Walmart. I'm telling you, I have so much of this left, and I'm just giving them a little bit of lift on the card. I'm putting them down in the center of the ovals, kind of twisting them so that they just look look cute and add some interest so they're not all going in the same direction, which that would have been fine too, whatever you want to do. 
and um, I put one on the inside as well and you can see there that yep mm -hmm, I forgot to color the seeds <laughs> so I pull out one of the it's not a black marker it's just dark gray and I color those seeds real quick because I mean yeah watermelon has white seeds too but mostly they're black <laughs> so anyway then I pull out my Nouveau drops they're the the crystal drops and this one is just the black and I put a little dimension and shine on those seeds with that with the crystal drops so my black white and clear are my most used drops let me know what your most used drops are or do you even use them some people don't I like to use them to put through a stencil like a gel or a glaze and so now I'm taking the clear and actually I don't know if that's the clear or if it's the crystal glaze I think it was the crystal glaze and nope it's not <laughs> anyway I'm just putting it around the edges where gravity would be dripping the the juice from the watermelon where it would be like coming out of the watermelon and then dripping down because of course gravity works so it's going to be at the lowest point the most so there it is they're all drippy watermelon juicy <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying to hold it down because again gravity works so if it pops open that stuff is going to drip over to the left and I don't want that so I've used my little glue and that is an Elmer's tacky glue I just picked it up from from Target Elmer's craft bond tacky glue again I'll have it listed below so these sentiments that I'm using are from the heavy doodle kit that Piper created and Piper is the daughter of Heffy Doodle's owner and she made this whole this whole kit she designed it there are cute little images there are fun sentiments there's an action wobbler she's all about her action wobblers <laughs> so if you've not um, if if you weren't aware that Piper created a card kit I know there were just a few and I was I was lucky and blessed enough to get in on that because I think there were just 25 if I remember correctly so my timing was right which isn't always the case it isn't usually the case but yeah so and I happened to have the money it was very inexpensive I think the card kit was like five dollars if I remember correctly exclamation point right <laughs> So anyway, I just thought that the size of this sending hugs was perfect for this card. So I use again that that fun foam. This one happened to have adhesive on the back and I adhere it down with a little fun foam and a little liquid glue. And then I pull out my Gina Marie designs. I want to say these are the sheer iridescent. They're not translucent. You can see that they're white on the back but they're very sheer and they have some iridescence to them so I think that's what they're called but I'll check again and I'll make sure that it's listed below now remember my Nouveau drops are still wet so <laughs> I probably should have put these on before I use the Nouveau oh my goodness yeah it's an accident waiting to happen however I have to say I didn't mess anything up which is I'm shocked and amazed because I'm telling you if there's an accident that's waiting to happen I'm usually gonna instigate it <laughs> or I'm gonna be the victim of it I don't know so here it is y'all what do you think what do you think did I did I meet the challenge did I meet the brief three digital images and the embossing oh I didn't tell you the embossing <laughs> so I took the heavy doodle pinstripe stencil and I dry emboss that through my big shot and here are this, the still shots and I'm just showing you up close that detail and so y'all again I'm Nancy the Handy Scandy and I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe to my little channel like this video if you liked it leave me a comment down below and we'll talk to you next time for another crafty venture